algorithm is back with another one so welcome guys today i want to show you how to bypass the cloudflare web application firewall that's the cloudflare off um the thing that i want to show you is just an easy one it's a logical sort of like a logical error so let's say like uh, when you have when you have like this here Just choose this. Let's say you have this website here. I'll call it maybe like example. Example.com. And this example.com, um, you want to access its server. Oh. Just want something simple. Oh, I'm using Miro. Miro is like a mind bump. Okay, let's say this is the server. Maybe this is the Cloudflare app. Waff, 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 waff. Okay. So let's say this is the server. This is the server, right? Example dot com server, and this here is the Cloudflare. Off. Okay, so you know, um, when I want to get to this server, my data passes through the Cloudflare, which the Cloudflare will try to sanitize any code. Um, if it's malicious, it will probably not go through because that is the job of the Cloudflare. It will not allow any. What is happening? Okay, so whenever I want to access the server of the example.com, my data will pass through the Cloudflare. The Cloudflare will sanitize it. Cloudflare sanitizes the data. The Cloudflare will sanitize the data. And then it will send it into if the data is clean, it will send it into the server. If the data is not clean, it will send it to it will block it. Block it, not it will send it, it will block it. I just call this like this one here is bad data. So I hope you've understood what I'm saying. Um, if you have, uh, if you want to access example.com, and maybe you are you want to access example.com, maybe stroke. Um, let's say stroke. Maybe contacts. Just an example. Um, this will send it into the Cloudflare app, um, and when it sends it into the Cloudflare app, the Cloudflare will decide if what you've sent from here is uh, good, let's just say good data or, or bad data. If it's bad data, it will send it to a block. Um, if it's good data, it will send it to an example, not to the server. So, how do we bypass this, cl this Cloudflare app? For some sites, like the one I've been, I was using the other day, that is the Instacart. This server, or rather, this example.com, um, all URLs in the, in, the, in the web, 
um, there is the URL and there is its um, IP. Let's say, for example, the IP, for example.com, could be maybe like, just an example, I don't know even if this is a good IP. Let's just say that, for example. Now, Cloudflare will check if this data, if this data comes from example.com or this IP. That's what Cloudflare looks for. Um, if it comes from the URL, it will check if, um, it will try to sanitize it. But what I've discovered, if it comes directly from the IP, since this IP and the IP in the server are almost equal, it will just pass it along. So that is what I was doing with the Instacart, as I'm going to show you right now. Now, to get the IP of the example.com, you are going to do reverse IP of example.com. You can just search on the internet reverse IP, and then you will find the IP of that internet. And then when you run it through, it will pass the Cloudflare off and get into, even if it's a malicious code, it will pass through and go into the server. It won't go to a block. Example now, for the example. Like I said, the other time I was doing instacart.com. Um, this is the page where I reached last time. So this is the data. This is the URL I was using. If I just run this the way it is, it will still reload to this page. Just a minute. Okay, it has reloaded. So, um, if I try to put here this data and try to run it, nothing happened because this um, is isn't isn't doing anything on that URL. Um, for the one that I did last time, where it gave me a block. So I'm going to write, um, I, do, I, do I remember it? I think I had written it before. Let me see if I'll find it. Oh yes, this was it. This was the SQL that you were trying to do last time. So if I run it, since it's bad data, I'm going to get blocked. Now, if you do the reverse IP, or this instacart.com, this shoppers.instacart.com, you'll find it. And if you run it, you will still be redirected to this page. Because, and remember, we are using the IP, not the URL. The IP still redirects you to this page. Now, if I run this same code, this same SQL, SQLI injection here, let me just copy this so that you see what I'm saying. If I paste it here, no. Remember this is still the IP, not the URL. So if I paste it here, run it, as you can see, we don't get blocked. So if this SQLI code was working, we'll probably see some SQL error here, but the SQLI doesn't work, so there's no error. But as you can see, we have bypassed the Cloudflare off. Thank you for being here. Um, if you have any questions, always ask. I'm always ready to answer or make a video about it. So you can like this video, subscribe, and thank you for everything. I'll go let them out.